Welcome back, my mathematicians. Uh, today's lesson, Zern Mission 6, Lesson 14, focuses on adding a pair of two-digit numbers when the ones digit has a sum greater than 10 by using decomposition. As we studied this in the last uh, two or three lessons, um, we saw how you can take apart, use a number bond to take apart one part of the equation so that you can make a 10 strategy or, or uh, make the next multiple of 10 on the other side. So let me show you how it works. Here's our first problem, 65 plus 15. So 65 plus 15, and uh, what we're going to do with this is say, hmm, which part of this problem can I make the next 10? And by the next 10, we, want, we mean, because we're doing addition, we're going up, we mean the next multiple of 10. Again, a multiple means that we can count by 10s. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So any of those, can we make the next multiple? Well, 15 and 65 both have a 5 in the ones place. But I think because 65 is bigger, I'm going to start with that one. And by start with that, what I really mean is I'm going to take apart 15 so I know that I'm going to take it apart. I don't know how much. I know that 65 needs 5 more to get to 70. So I can take out 5 more. And uh, as always, I like to circle those and show, okay, these are the numbers I'm working with. And as we get more advanced with this, we can actually just do that math in our head and say, oh, I took 65 and 5 and I made 70. But for right now, I want to reinforce uh, the concept of writing out the equation. Reinforce this concept by writing out the equation. So 65 plus 5 equals 70. Um, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now we don't want to forget what we have left. If we took out 5, we have 10 left. And we want to take that 10 and put it right down over here. So I am going to do just that. I'm going to say 70 plus 10 equals, oh, I can count by 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 plus 10 is 80. And that is my answer, 80. Okay, make sure, as always, uh, get out your personal whiteboard, follow along with my problem. I want you to solve it. Hopefully hit that pause button, solve it on your own, and then come back and check your answer with me. Uh, our next problem is 48 plus 33. Uh, get my blue pen out, and I'll do four tens, eight ones, plus three tens, three ones. And for those of you watching, especially you parents, I'm using that language of tens and ones because what we're teaching here is place value. Place value is going to help us in our lessons as we get with, as we begin to add bigger and bigger numbers. So 48 plus 33. Um, I think that 48 can be turned into a 10 a lot easier than 33. So I'm going to build my number bond. I'm going to take out two ones because I know that I can add two ones to 48 and get the number 50. 48 plus 2 equals 50. All right. Now, I still have 31 left. I didn't forget about that one that was left over. This, this lesson's going to focus on we're, we're going to have some remaining. It's not just going to be an easy 10 that we can add. So we're going to have to go back and add 50 plus 31 equals. Now, boys and girls, this is a good opportunity to use our tens and ones, our place value. So five tens plus three tens equals eight tens. And zero ones plus one one equals one one. 
And if you didn't see what I was doing there, we can make a tens and ones chart. Tens and ones. I always like to do this writing the word tens and the word ones. So I have tens and ones. Um, and we had five tens on top and zero ones. And then we had three tens and one one. You could see that this is setting us up for the vertical algorithm. Zero ones plus one one is one one. Five tens plus three tens is eight tens. 81. That's our answer. Is that what I got over here? Thank goodness I am correct. 81. All right, let's move on. Uh, I have one more easy one, and then we'll get into some of the more challenging ones. But remember, folks, this is still first grade math. Uh, hopefully in a few weeks we're going to make that jump doing some uh, more complex uh, problems uh, and adding to a 1,000. Adding and subtracting within a thousand. Um, but for right now, we're going to stick with a hundred. Um, my next problem is thirty-eight plus sixty-two. Uh, easy one because we know that if we just take out two from sixty-two, uh, we can um, add that to thirty-eight, and we get forty. Now, like I said, you could start to do this without, without writing it. But we're going to write it anyway. And um, I want to back up here. Pro tip, just for the you that, are, that may like this strategy or want to get more advanced with it, I could write two on either side. It doesn't really matter which side of the number bond you work, up, work on. But I'm writing it on the closest side because then... I can just circle these two numbers together, and then I can say, okay, that's 40, and I can add, I can figure out what I have left. I have 60 left, and I can just write 40 plus 60. So it took me a little while to figure that one out. Four tens plus six tens is 100, or 10 tens. Okay, moving on. Here is our next problem. A little bit more challenging this time. 56 plus 28. Okay, so now they're messing with you a little bit. On this problem, 8 is closer to the next 10. So the question is, which side are you going to work on? Well, you could take 4 out of 28 just because you like working on that side. But the easier side to deal with would be to take apart 56. If you take apart 56, I think it would be easier. You can take out 2. And then I will have 54 left. Okay. And I'll write my little equation. 28 plus 2 equals 30. So we can work on either side. Doing this on both sides. Uh, 54 plus 30 equals 84. Again, if you didn't get 84, here's how that works. I had five tens, four ones, and three tens, zero ones. Four plus zero is still four. And five tens plus three tens is eight tens. 84 is my answer. Go ahead and put that up here. Okay, I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to give you one more uh, challenging problem, and then we will call it good. Uh, again, it, please, at home or uh, wherever you're at doing your distance learning, go ahead and once you see the problem, pause the video. Solve it on your own. Give yourself a challenge. See how good you are at this math. And then we'll come back. So my problem is 45 plus 37. I've seen lots of kids that can do these in their head. 
but can you show me what you're thinking? That's the true test. Can you explain it? If you're really good, you can teach it. All right. Uh, I don't know. Do I want to make the number bond on 45 or do I want to make it on 37? I think I'm going to break 45 apart. Follow my own rule. 37 is closer to a multiple of 10. So I will take 3 out of 45, and I'll circle 37, and then I will have 42 left. 42 plus, I have to finish my math here. I'm going to say 37 plus 3 equals 40. Oh, look at that. That's so good. 40 can go over here, 42 plus 40. All right, I'm going to set you up for the vertical algorithm. 42 plus 40. 2 plus 0 is 2. 4 tens plus 4 tens is 8 tens or 80. 82 is our answer. And we could do it this way too. 40 plus 40 is 80, plus two more is 82. Great job, mathematicians. Uh, I love doing this math with you guys. And I thank you for joining me in this lesson. Um, I will see you next time. We'll be covering something totally different. Hasta la vista, baby.